Good afternoon, guys. It's three o'clock. I'm on my way home from the pool. Um, yeah, pool here is probably pretty bad. It's Sunday, the 18th of August, 2013. Pool water was a little cool, but not bad. Once you got in the pool, it was okay. And uh, we played volleyball once. The ambient temperature is very cool. I'm on my way home. Big happy birthday to Mrs. Rolson today, 15. Um, hope you have an excellent night. Oh, geez, I've got a big truck back there. Uh, kind of reminds me of Big Dirty. Okay, I actually just turned around because I saw these. I don't know if they're real, but I am going to pull in and take a quick look. I have not been in this this little plaza parking lot here for like probably five, ten years. 427 Cobras. I don't even know how to tell if they're real or not. They probably, I don't know, we're in Stowe, they may not be. <laughs> cool nonetheless. Summer of construction continues. Check this out. This is Terex Road at 91, just south of town. Got that all totally torn up down to uh, the grooved pavement. And that road was bad. That needed it. So it looks like all of the bad roads in Hudson I will not be beaten by a Camry. Jeez. Anyway, all of the bad roads in town uh, appear to have been redone this year, which is good news. If you saw yesterday's vlog, you would have noticed the um, the E92 through M3 in there. Just saw that again, going south on 91, and then that blue um, Audi S8 just drove by. That one that I parked behind downtown and complimented on um, quite several occasions, I would imagine. So, I don't know. Sunday in Hudson, we get some some decent cars out. We're gonna let the Dodge go here. Oh, it's still cloudy outside. Today was supposed to be sunny. Uh, but it isn't. At least it's warm, right? I can't complain too much. It's 4.48. I'm gonna head into town. Grandparents wanted to meet for dinner at uh, yours truly again. So we're gonna do that and then maybe hit the concert tonight. I don't know. It looks like rain. There's rain down down by Marietta, I guess, down on the river. But that's it's a two-hour drive at the speed limit down there. So the car is pretty filthy, actually. It hasn't been Z6 or anything for about 10 days. And it's just got nasty back here. It looks like it's been driven in the rain almost down low, but it has not. I just pumped up all the tires. Uh, the front ones, I haven't checked pressure in those in months. They were perfect, spot on. Uh, the rear left was, I like to keep them about 48. It was at 45, so I bumped that up three pounds. And then this one over here, same thing, 48. It was at about 20. And I notice every time I check it, it's down around 20. So I pulled the tire off when I changed the oil, pulled the wheel off, and inspected the tire. Tire looks fine. There's nothing in the tire, nothing in the sidewall. That looks good. The wheel looks good. No dings in the wheel. So I stopped in at NTB. I'm going over tomorrow at 5. I think this is my culprit here. I think the valve stem, this is obviously rubber, and it's probably leaking. So I'm going to have them take a look at that. Also, tomorrow's my appointment at Dave Walter to diagnose the steering issues. Um, so we're going to do that. But now I'm going to go get dinner and hang out a little bit tonight. Breaking Bad, it's Sunday, Breaking Bad is at nine tonight. I'm hoping Alex can make it over, we'll hit that. Um, season five, episode 10, episode 10 already. So we've got seven more, including tonight, and I look forward to that, so. And power, we'll film that. Can you see my windshield? It is not good. Hold on, let me diagnose what the hell is going on here and then I'll talk. Alright, I don't know what was going on there. Anyways, when I was doing the tire pressure in here, I got in and I plug in right there next to my phone on that power outlet. And I accidentally hit my wiper stock. And to do that on a dirty windshield, not only is it not really good for the glass and stuff, but now I've smeared all the bug guts and trees pitch and all that stuff all over the windshield. And I'm out of glass cleaner, but I ordered more online. I used Auric cloud-free, smear-free stuff. It's a foam instead of a liquid. It's great stuff. It's a little pricey. It's nine bucks a can. Um, but that should be here soon. And this car needs a full C6. Wheels are covered in brake dust, stuff like that. But I hate doing that before you go to the dealer. Uh, then you get it back from the dealer and you got fingerprints everywhere. And I am so anal. Oh my God, I'm talking about, there's fingerprints on my car, but I care. Did you know that? I care about the fingerprints.
So it would probably behoove me to quit my bitching and just get in there tonight in the garage at 2 a.m., talk to Cole a little bit, and put the two hours in it it needs to make it perfect again. So I'll probably do that tomorrow night. Behind me is an F10 um, non-sport package. I think it's a 528, just guessing. Um, but I looked at the front of it. It pulled out of the shell as I was making it left here on 303. And uh, the front bumper on that looks like it has been driven downstairs, I think is the closest lightning I can create with that. Um, and it's sad to see a car that is no more than, what, two years old, probably doesn't have over 20,000 miles on it, that the front bumper is destroyed. <laughs> I mean, if it were mine, it would be easily be replaced. Um, and that sucks, because that is a very nice car that should have a lot of life left in it. But, um... It probably doesn't. And there's my grandfather's old Buick. Remember the LeSabre? That's it. Yep. We know the people that bought it, and they must be here as well. So I'm at the restaurant now. There's Bob and Phyllis Schultz. So we're going to go in and eat. All right, there's our table. I'm going out to the Mercedes to uh, turn his lights off. I don't know how they get off automatic mode. I turn them on automatic so they come on when it gets dark, and they turn off when it when it's not dark, but they're on. So he must have flipped them accidentally. There's the LeSabre. Remember my grandfather had that since new. Big ding in the door over there. Not a ding. Somebody backed into him. Um, what was I going to say about the Benz? Let me think. That's right. Automatic lights. So my car didn't have automatic lights. I think that came around in 2002 model year. Because Colts doesn't have it either and his is an 01. So maybe 02. The automatic switch, you know, straight up is off. Then there's the halos and then there's headlights. Well, to the left one, the 11 o'clock position is automatic. And they come on. You don't hear anything when they come on. Well, the smart car... When they come on, you hear this ridiculous big click. It's like everything in here is mechanically controlled. Yeah, it's beeping, but he doesn't hear that. So there's automatic. That'll shut him off. Oh, hold on here. Let's fix this. Oh, wow. It steers that... Holy crap! That's like power-assisted steering, and the car's not even on. Well, it does have, like, 125 rear tires or something like that. Done. E46 M3, beautiful, and a 330 coupe it would look. Oh my god, it's like Al Yankovic. I'm walking over here, it's the Pennsylvania Polka, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Hudson. We're so carefree, gay with laughter, happy as to be. Across the street. Boy, that looks familiar, Colt. I don't know what year it is. It's facelifted. Uh, back door is unlocked. The rest of them are locked, so that's probably a malfunction. It's got sport seats, manual transmission, no nav. Still looks nice. Alright guys, name what you think I'm looking at on this E46, what doesn't belong, and what isn't original. Episode 10, Season 5. Alex made it. Can't really see him over there. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hello. Goodbye. Alright guys, last five minutes. Oh, of BRBA season 5 of 10. Season 5, episode 10. 3.37 in the morning. Welcome back to the vlog editing or ending the editing process from bed. We have the vlog going right there. Talking to Colt. I actually did Z6 the car. All of that is done. Doing emails. And we'll leave you with that. We'll talk tomorrow on Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Good night.